Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, you know, Fire Alarm 101. And it's time to come to the time again where I've kind of lost interest in that stuff. I mean, I still like them and everything, I just don't have the time to actually set up a panel. Um, I mean, so pretty much what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to sell what I have. I do have some other stuff I'm going to show you in the video, in another video, um, but basically the rules of this is you're going to email me your your offers and I'll reply to you. Uh, I won't accept any offers to YouTube just because I don't like getting 50 notifications through YouTube, okay? So first we'll start off with this one over here. This one is a busted True Alert strobe, and I really don't know why they have these little grills here, but uh, it's just a strobe, um, but it doesn't work at all. Uh, it's actually burnt out, I believe. Uh, this is just a mo little mopping plate on the back, but I mean, if you want it for a cover plate or something, or just some spare parts, just make me an offer on it. Next we have the Gentex. I can't remember what this name is. I think it's Commander 3 or something like that, but anyway, um, let's see if I can get this off here. work with me today. But the back here, pretty much what you have. Um, 75 can dollar and there's like a little switch where you can flip it around and mess around with it. It works. I've used it in some other videos. If you don't believe me, go check out my other videos then. Uh, so moving on with that, make me an offer on that. Just make me an offer on all these. I don't feel like saying prices in this video. But, um, yeah. Next we have a notifier, MDG silver, or gold, I don't know, whatever. Silver, full station, and uh, you just, you know, pull it like that. Take your little key, if I can find my key here, wherever the heck I put it, I don't know. Okay. And pretty much, just put it in there. Like that. Um, keys for pull stations. I can make you a copy of the key, but uh, I'm not giving out any original keys just because I don't have any extra original keys to give. Next, we have I actually have two of these. There's one in the back, I'll get to that later, but uh, these, these are simpler to test stations. They, they work. I use both of them. And there's like a little key that you have to buy, but uh, you know. Uh, just normal test. Pretty much, it's pretty sim simple. But anyway, and I just dropped that guess idea. But this one, uh, this is a Siemens something MSI B6F. This was addressable. I converted it to not addressable, and it's missing a little screw or something up there. Um, but if you want it, yeah. Okay, moving on. Right here we have a Moco or Ser Server Bus Hydronics, whatever the heck they say the name is. Um, this is addressable. You can convert it if you want to. Uh, this is just the addressable module hanging out. And okay. Anyway, uh, here's the inside of it. Um, it just it just needs a little screw. Uh, you can. Originally what it was is an Allen wrench, but I can revert it into a Phillips because Allen wrenches just took too damn long to uh, fix or whatever, but so yeah. Now this one, this next pull station is a notifier key lock BG10. And you know these ones are rare to find. Uh, this one, you know, it has some little wear and tear in it, but just like that. Um, I'm going to open it up for you. Here's the inside and the bottom there, little key thing here. Um, I believe this was addressable, but uh, I had someone converted it for me. And it, everything works on it because I have used it in other videos before. And moving on to down here. We have a Firelight BG12. Uh, it's missing a little key, but if you want to, 
to make a regen when it first, but if you want to, you can just make an off on it, but you can still still use it because this one's actually not like a simplex station where you actually need the key lock, but it's a lot better, in my opinion, not to have a key lock because this one was an Allen wrench, and let's say stick to the ammo line just to open anyway, but, and just activate, flip up the little switch, there's the inside of it, and then just close it like that. Okay, so moving on, we have another one here. This is an EST Genesis Temporal Horn, Strobe Horn, whatever. Um, it, I got this brand new in the box, just a little dusty, but I mean, it works perfectly fine. Here's the inside of it, here's the cover, here's the back, the two terminals. Um, so just make me an offer on that. I still have the box for it if you do want the original box with your your purchase, okay? Uh, this one you guys might remember from my Simplex for the one system I had a long, long time ago, but um, you know, this one's a little dusty, but here's the inside. This is non-addressable, so it'll work with any candle that's non-addressable, and uh, that's pretty much how you do it, just kind of hang this up, feed your wires through here, positive, negative, you know, it's pretty much like a full station, and then feed it into your panel, and uh, you have your little LEDs, and these ones work actually pretty great, I, have, so I still have them in the hallway, just hanged up, I haven't took them down. Uh, moving on with smoke detectors, all these are EST, all these little ones here, these are all EST, and not ESL, sorry, um, I, don't, I have never tested these ones, but you may be an offer on it. You know, I'm, I don't, I'm not expecting a lot from these, but I don't even know if they work. I haven't tested them, so these are all the rest of them here. But um, we'll move on here. This one is from a MS9200 system that I had, and they never had their little plates or their little cover, kind of like, kind of like this one does, but. This one is adjustable, but uh, you can only use it with adjustable panels such as firelight adjustable panels and, and whatever. I have the same, I have another one of those. And these two here are both Mirkami detectors. I have no idea if they work or not. This one's missing its little cover, but this one does have its cover. And that's pretty much it for that one. And this one also, also has a mounting plate on it, which you can have with the plane. All right. And this is an EST addressable uh, fire alarm. I didn't. I got this in a package I got uh, not too long ago, but um, I don't have a cover on the back plate cover for it. So it just has your adjustable modules here, so it's adjustable. But if you do have a adjustable like inside like this, where it can slide on, then this should be good to go. But that's pretty much that, so I'll just make it off my ways. This, I don't know if it works or not, I just found it. Uh, I found it at job site. Um, I don't know, it might, have been, it might not work, it might, so if you just want it for your collection, there you go. Next over here we have a Simplex 4040 horn. Um, once again, I haven't tested that one at all because I didn't really do much with horns at all. So it's sold as is. All these are sold as is on no returns, nothing like that. Okay. Next, we have a Gentex Commander Free Strobe or whatever, and this one's missing its little cover plate like this one. But um, I have actually have two of these here. Actually, they're the same here. And, um, but these can sell in a pair or they can go separate too, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's up to you. But, okay, next we have a Simplex Fire Strobe there. Um, that one doesn't have a cover plate like some other ones do, but it does work. Um, I've used it before in some little tests that I've done in my room. So, feel free to make an offer on that. Alright. And we're gonna do this one. Um, next up here we have a Simplex 2901 9838 horn. Um, it does work. I've tested it 
I just haven't made a video of me testing it, but it does work. Um, because I got it off the used job site from Simplex here in town. Um, next we have a Spectra Load Advanced here. Um, this works. I've used, I just used the strobe though. I didn't test the horn, so either way, if it doesn't work, the strobe will work at least. But and then here's your little mounting plate for it, and it just kind of clicks on uh, like that. Next, we have a wheel lock. I'm gonna get this off, but whatever. Wheel lock uh, strobe. It's a ceiling mount strobe, so you have to be mounted like this on the ceiling. But um, yeah, so it'll work if you want. You know, just play around with it too. I mean, it doesn't have to be on the ceiling. You can mount it like this too. But if you want to see your fire, you know, just yeah. But this one was brand new in the box and it works. So okay, this one is a wheel lock. I don't remember the name of these, but um, this one does not work at all. Um, it is burnt. Um, but if you want it for a spare parts, or you just want to smash it or something, I don't know, you can buy it. And the last but not least, another simplex test plate here. Kind of like this one here. Same, actually the same thing as this one, but um, they're both in good shape and they both work. Um, we have another video coming here pretty soon. Uh, we'll be making another video, so stay tuned for that, and happy buying. Bye.